So this marketing strategy made him a seven figure wedding photography and film making company. What's up guys, Jordan Caress is here, co-owner of the WLMA, the most result-based business mastermind for wedding photographers and filmmakers worldwide. We don't just help a lot of wedding photographers and filmmakers make a lot of money, but get their time and freedom back as well. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a total marketing strategy breakdown that you can copy and use for yourself. So I'm gonna move over to my screen right over here. And I'm just gonna pull up a regular Google Doc, nothing fancy, I just wanna get straight to the point to the good strategies that you need to implement right now. And I'm gonna do a full strategy breakdown of how our wedding photography and filmmaking student, Tom Michael, uh, goes by Tom Russo Photography in New Jersey, was able to reach his seven figure milestone with his team and with his wedding photography company. So this is a post he made in our Facebook group. Once he reached this milestone, if you you want you can pause the video and read it super inspiring story but i'm gonna skip that and go straight to the good stuff pretty much in this video i'm gonna break down every single strategy our student tom did splitting this up into five different phases so you can break it up into five different phases and replicate for yourself and this eventually helped them accumulate seven figures in revenue so let's dive into phase one. Before we get started, be sure to like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more um, of our content. So let's scroll down to phase one, year one. This is his first year. So when Tom Michael came, um, came and reached out to us and started working with us, he was pretty much starting from ground zero. He was maybe only making like $500 a month in his wedding photography business, no lie. So the first strategy that Tom started implementing was Facebook and Instagram ads every single month. In the beginning, it was maybe about $100 a month. Uh, once he started getting good with Facebook and Instagram ads, maybe it got to like $200 a month. But this way we can have a consistent flow of newly engaged leads, newly engaged couples, finding out about his brand month after month after month. You know, usually getting 50, 100 leads going into his funnel every single month. Um, for these types of offers we're doing, we're normally doing contests, uh, maybe model calls in the beginning. Um, we, we framed it in a way where it was able to elevate his brand as well, sometimes free guide ads. And you want to use those types of offers, especially in the beginning, because we're just trying to get leads into our funnel. So that was year one, phase one. Say $100 a month in Facebook and Instagram ads, use contests, model calls, free guides, get a ton of newly engaged leads in your funnel so we can just beat competition at that brand awareness level. Now moving on to phase two, shoot a lot. He shot a lot of engagement sessions, especially in the beginning stages. I mean, if you already have a lot of work, that may not be a necessary step, but if you're starting, especially where he was starting, only making like $500 a month, you wanna be shooting a lot. You wanna be doing a lot of engagement sessions. Um, whether if you know it's paid or maybe if there, there are people who maybe want a contest or something, you want it to be a little bit of both of those. But the reason why you want to shoot a lot of engagement sessions is because that is the easiest and fastest way to turn a cold lead into a warm lead because they're actually working with you. And the easiest and fastest way to turn that, you know, stranger into an actual booked wedding. So during phase two, uh, along with shooting a lot of engagement sessions with the couples that are reaching out to him, he also built up a newsletter through his ads, built up a bunch of newsletter subscribers and was able to cross pollinate those newsletter subscribers to his social media, you know, to his website, to his blogs. That way they're all feeding into each other and he's able to stay top of mind. They're st he's staying top of mind because he has couples working with him. He's staying top of mind because he has people who are subscribed to his weekly newsletter where he's <clears throat> emailing them a ton of value. Through his newsletter, he's able to get them to follow his Instagram or TikTok and then see, you know, his best work on his website. So that is phase two. And this is still happening in year one. Now I'll scroll down to phase three, and this is still in year one as well. He mastered his wedding consultations. This is a must, especially if you want to get to those $5,000, $7,000, $10,000 bookings. You have to master your wedding consultation process, your sales process. So it was these three phases, 
that I just showed you, like <laughs> nothing super fancy. It was those three phases alone that took Michael from Tom Michael from only making maybe five hundred dollars a month to scaling to six figures in nine months. In nine months, most people hit six figures in maybe three, five, no, 10 years. He was able to do this in nine months. So let me review those first three phases in the first year so you can replicate this as well. So first phase, $100 to $200 a month on Facebook and Instagram ads. Phase two, shoot a lot of engagement sessions. The more engagement sessions you do, the faster you're gonna be able to take cold leads to warm leads. It's the fastest route from prospect to booked wedding. And build a marketing funnel. Build a, a wedding newsletter. Really build up that audience through the ads that you're running. And then cross-pollinate those newsletter subscribers to social media and your website. This way you're staying top of mind. In phase three, if you really want to get your ideal clients, you must master your wedding consultations. You must master sales. So now run year two. This is phase four in year two. So his second year, he was pretty much keeping pretty consistent when it came to running his Facebook and Instagram ads. But then he realized he needed to work on other things. He realized his brand needed a lot of work. He needed to elevate his website. He needed to elevate his portfolio and he needed to elevate his editing style as well to attract a more specific client that he really wanted to work with. So in year two, he put a lot of time into doing a total brand revamp, not just the visuals like on the website, but the non-visuals as well, as far as like copy on the website, what is said on your website and the content that's happening in your newsletter and funnel. And then he started getting really into blogging on his website to up level his Google SEO, search engine optimization. Because, you know, he's grew his business to the six figure level, you know, word of mouth from past clients and relationships for vendor referrals started to naturally build at this point as well. And he was hiring more associate photographers and filmmakers to take on even more weddings. So just through those alone, consistency with the ads, elevating the brand, you know, word of mouth and referrals starting to build and then starting to get into blogging. At this point, you know, he was able to scale his business from his first six figures to doubling it to $250,000 a year. So that is it for phase four in his second year, going from six figures to doubling it to 250,000. Keep consistent with the ads, and everything else with the brand and word of mouth starts a bit of compound effect. Now scrolling down to phase five, um, year three. You know, because at this point, he's been super consistent with everything, super consistent with his blogging, really consistent, you know, uh, with his just giving quality work. So now word of mouth, vendor referrals, and SEO starts to build. So he can actually run less Facebook and Instagram run less Facebook and Instagram ads. He's still running them little by little on the months where he feels like he needs them, but he's less, less reliant um, on paid marketing. And he's also just managing his, his team, which just takes a lot of work. So as you can see, the list for phase five gets even smaller, but it was through steps one to four that built a compound effect, doubling his business again from $250,000 a year to $420,000 a year, and even hitting a $54,000 month. So think about that. Think about those strategies that, that I just described and those three different years and the different phases on what happened there. Because this, this didn't happen just by chance. And all of those phases working together, he was able to hit a year where he hit close to half a million dollars in a year and even a $54,000 a month. And think about that as well. Most photographers... $54,000 is their entire year, but he was able to hit that in one month. And eventually through all of this working together, eventually accumulating over a million dollars in revenue since this all began. So let me review all those phases for you because there was a lot that we just went over. Let me scroll up. So phase one, year one, Every single month, Facebook and Instagram ads, free guides, model calls, and, and contests just to get people in the door. You don't want to run ads that are direct call to actions to work with you because there's no trust there. You want to save that for retargeting ads. You want to use lead magnets. Always use lead magnets when you're running ads for cold traffic. So that is 
phase one. Phase two, shoot a lot of engagement sessions. No, the more leads you get in your funnel, you're going to have people who want to pay you for engagement sessions, especially if you're in the place where Tom was, where he was only making $500 a month. You want to shoot as many engagement sessions as possible. Maybe if you're already pretty established, that may be a strategy that you can get rid of. But for most people starting, you know, from the bottom, you want to shoot a lot and then start building a marketing funnel. You, from your ads, you're going to start building newsletter subscribers, and you're going to get a lot of people joining that. Then you're going to be leading them to your social media and website. So you're staying top of mind. And then on phase three, you're mastering your sales process, wedding consultations. Phase four, consistency with ads, elevating and elevating the brand, starting with SEO. And a lot of word of mouth is building here. And Phase five, a compound effect is building with all the ads you ran in the beginning, the SEO and the referrals that are starting to build. It is all working together. So some takeaways that you can get from this. In the beginning of your business, you wanna start with ads and funnels because referrals and SEO takes time. Ads can work within 24 hours. You know, referrals and SEO can take months to build up. As you're running your ads, you can build your brand, elevate your brand, Elevate your referral base and your SEO as you go. And consistency, consistency, consistency. I wanted to add this there because a lot of people will start with these strategies, but they'll stop after a few months. They'll stop after six months, or maybe even they stop after a year. But if you really want to hit, you know, these types of levels like Tom was able to hit, you have to be incredibly consistent. So you need to focus for the long term so you avoid shiny object syndrome. And you have to be willing to learn and be willing to work hard for the long run. And I wanted to add this quote here that I really, really like by Alex Harmozy. How to destroy a great plan? Change it when things get hard. Tom had a strategy, especially as he joined our program. He had a very focused strategy on what he was going to really nail in. It changed a little bit as he continued to grow, but he stayed incredibly focused. He did not get shiny object syndrome when things got hard in the business. He stayed focused. And if you literally copy those strategies, copy those phases, you can hit those six-figure milestones like Tom did, even hitting a seven-figure milestone like he did as well. If you want to read more about his story, pause the video, read this post that he put into our Facebook group. I'll scroll down here. And I hope you guys found this video incredibly helpful. If you want to copy this Google Doc. Um, I'm going to put the link to this Google Doc in the description of this YouTube video. So if you wanna lay out a plan for yourself, you can um, you can just pull up this Google Doc and look at it, see where you're at, you're in your business and what you need to start accomplishing. In the description of the video, you can also find a free training uh, and business audits where you can learn more on how you can master these strategies. And if you found this video valuable, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment any questions, hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on more of our content. And here is a link where you can learn more hit up a free training so you can learn how we've helped people to the six figures and multiple six figure level. Anyways, guys, we'll see you on the next one.